Hi everybody, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to talk to you about fear, intimidation, the demonic, spiritual attacks. Listen, there is very much wickedness in high places. And we know that the demonic realm is being shaken up and, and loosed and, and, and just set forth throughout all of society, especially through the people of God. And the attacks are meant to intimidate. The attacks are meant to kill one's faith. Don't let it happen. When these attacks come to you, the name of Jesus should be what they meet with, not you. The word of God should be what they meet with, what they run into, not you. Now, when you are doing uh, God's work and you're doing his will, and you know that you're serving God, you're living for God, you're doing all your best to be what God wants you to be, who God wants you to be. You're doing your best to grow, to mature, to live under his anointing, to please him. In the middle of the night, I'm going to tell you this, demon, the demonic works in the dark because that's where they're comforted. God works in light. Light dispels dark. So what ends up happening is here you are minding your own business, taking care of your father's business, living for him, being a witness for him, being an example. And Satan comes in and says, no, I don't want you to fulfill your destiny. Get him. Sick him. And next thing you know, you're bombarded with dreams you're bombarded with voices, with fearful thoughts. All kind of weird stuff is breaking loose. Well, guess what? The Bible says, what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. What you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Bind that bad boy. And buying every little imp and every little puppy he sends your way. If you're walking down the street and dogs attack you, bind those bad boys. They have to stop in the name of Jesus. If demons attack you in your sleep, rebuke them in the name of Jesus. They're gone. They have to go. If you run into a stubborn one, Throw the word at him. If he fights you, praise God with all your might. And that boy won't know his behind from, from a hole in the wall. Because praise, praising God, confounds the enemy. That means it confuses them. You hear what I'm saying? So, you have to ask God to get you to the point, change your mindset, get you to, to the point where there is nothing out there that can intimidate you because you know who your God is. You know who your Savior is. Who are you sitting up there shivering in the dark? For what? You've got J-E-S-U-S. You've got God on your side, and you've got reinforcements, God's angels. You have all you need. If anybody should be running. You know how the Bible says, the Bible says this, your enemy will come to you one way, but he will run seven ways from you. You have nothing to fear, you guys. So what if he's running his mouth? Ignore him. You know, some of you mothers, this cracks me up. Some of you mothers, you, you trip me out. You get to a public restaurant and your kids, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Hey! <laughs> and you are so used to that noise, you tune it out. But nobody else in the restaurant is able to do it. It's annoying to them. But if you can tune out your own baby, whom you love, how much more should you be able to tune out a demon whom you hate? And who hates you and your Lord? Tune that sucker out. Tune him out. You ain't got to acknowledge every time he says something to you. You know, years ago when I was a, uh, an adolescent, I was about 11 years old, and I was very athletic. And the guys at the, uh, I had to pass a uh, barber shop to get to the store around the corner. And every time I get ready to go down the street, those guys would be, hey, big mama, hey, muscle legs. Ooh, look at them big, pretty muscle legs. I was very athletic. So I looked with my height and my shape and my development. I looked like I was about 15 to 16 years old. So they were checking Mama Sita out. I was a kid. But guess what I did? I ignored them fools. I walked down the street, act like they weren't saying a thing. I didn't look at them. I didn't have a facial expression. I didn't give them a reaction of any kind. I ignored them. That's the treatment you should give to any demonic voice Try to rattle off nonsense in your head. Ignore them. Now that's your word for tonight. I hope you're having a good night's sleep. I'm done. I'm going to sit back and enjoy myself watching some movies. But remember, when you get ready to go to bed, I got I to gotta give you the, I'm trying to finish. When you get ready to go to bed, ask God to surround your bed. This is my routine now. Ask God to surround your bed with your guardian, with his guardian, warring, and ministering angels. And then ask God to bless your sleep, to anoint your dreams, to orchestrate your dreams. And rebuke Satan and all his demons and forbid them from meddling with you in your sleep and meddling with your dreams. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Nighty night.